Okay, my name is Chris, and I'm with Top Global Media, and I'm here in Chicago Wizard World with Steve Whitmire. Now, Steve, what are you known for? Well, I'm known for the Muppets, mostly, I think, uh, and for really liking Thai food. <laughs> That's just with my friends, though. No, I, I was with the Muppets for about 40 years, um, and so I did a lot of characters that people know. Uh, characters of mine were Wembley from Fraggle Rock and Rizzo the Rat and a whole bunch of them. And then when Jim Henson passed away, I was Kermit the Frog and Ernie for about 30 years. Right. My favorite is Kermit the Frog. Yeah. And a lot what you've done with your YouTube channel as well. Oh, yeah. And well, stuff. that's been fun. I've been doing this thing called Caven, which is a monthly live stream with Weldon the IT guy, and Weldon is an internet troll. So um, IT for him stands for internet troll. So that's been great fun. I appreciate that you see that. Yeah. Right. So, um, what would you give to other voice actors out there as far as, um, the, I mean, um, what would you tell them if they were going into voice acting and how to get started with it? It's a hard question for me to answer because I, I came at this from the side of it that was the puppetry. And, and all the voices that I've done, and it turns out there's a lot of them, but I never thought of myself as a voice actor. I've never done voice acting other than when it was associated with a puppet. Um, but I think the standard thing that most people do is, you know, we all have certain voices that we just sort of slip into, like a falsetto or a growly voice or a high voice or a low voice, and just play with those and find different inflections. But another really important thing, I think, with voice acting is to think about the characters. You know, come up with character types. Not just the sound of the voice, but the characters themselves. And that will take you a lot further with the character voice. Right. So how did you get into voice acting to begin with? Well, it, as I say, it was through the puppetry. I was I was a huge fan of, of Jim's work, of Jim Henson's work, and uh, the voices sort of came along with that. And then I, I met Carol Spinney, who was Big Bird, uh, years and years ago, and when I was about 19. And Carol actually, you know, let Jim know I was a puppeteer, and I was very young and very new at it, and not terribly good at that point. But Jim hired me to come in and learn. Right. God bless Jim Henson's soul. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I mean, he was he was really good at what he did and the kind of creator that he was and yeah. stuff. Oh, he sure was. He sure was. And he was just a wonderful person to work with. He loved to collaborate with people. And, um, you know, everybody's ideas were welcome. And then he would form that into something that we could all be a part of, you know. Exactly. Well, my name is Chris, and th I thank you very much for this interview. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm glad we got a chance to talk. Right. Okay. Thank you.